みなさんこんにちは This is Kevin Freeman speaking also known from my YouTube channel name Kevin the Echidna and for this video I'm doing something a little bit different If you're wondering why I have my Miku stuff on today pretty nice huh? <laughs> Last night of November 5th I watched Hatsune Miku Expo Rewind Plus on the Hatsune Miku channel on YouTube. And I want to give out my thoughts of the concert to you guys. Ever since canceling the live stream of me reacting to it last night, I was figuring out a way to make up for that. And I hope this video does. Anyway, my thoughts of the concert, all I can say is, oh, my gosh wow just wow it was definitely an upgrade from the last rewind concert back in june and i love every minute and second of it and what's really a cool feature about the concert is that in the beginning and between certain songs um the footage of past Miku Expo shows were being played and it was showing the people who were attending the show and the expedition where people were drawing and coloring Miku pictures and it showed a little bit of the concert itself from the venues. From Indonesia back in 2014 to, to the USA like New York and Los Angeles to Shanghai and China, to Malaysia, and everywhere around the world. It's really a cool feature and I hope that Krypton brings that kind of stuff again in the future. Anyway, the, the set list for the concert, oh my gosh, it was definitely way better than the last. Some of my favorite songs were being played, aka everything. <laughs> and wow, I could not contain myself. <laughs> and since it was Miku Expo, they were playing the theme songs from 2014 to 2021. Like Sharing the World, Blue Star, Decade, um, Lucky Orb, etc, etc. And there was also some the song contest winners from different years, like 10,000 Stars, Glass Wall, um, Thousand Little Voices. It, I, it was really cool. And, but I think two out of the things that really had me happy and ecstatic was some of the was one some of the classic songs that were being played like Romeo and Cinderella and World is Mine were being played and oh my gosh Unknown Mother Goose from Wolka oh it had I wouldn't say it had me crying but it did make me really happy on the inside like, oh my gosh. I never get tired of those songs. Not at all. And I think what's really, was, what else was really cool about the show is um, the other Krypton Vocaloids, Rin, Len, Luca, Mako, and Kaito were getting some more spotlight with their songs. Not as much as Miku does because she's the popular vocaloid in the franchise, but they did get more love than just having one song than like they usually do. Especially for Mako. Since November 5th was her 18th birthday, they really gave her more attention than just having one song. Like, um, in the Miku Expo 2017 footage, she played Lover, Suicide, and Oblivion. 
And when it came to the 2021 section, she played Inappropriate Lady. It was a good way to give her more attention and I just loved her for it. Including Kaito, when he performed Dr. Funk Beat first, then Reload Words in, the, in 2021. Oh my gosh. Krypton gave both Mako and Kaito more love. And I just love that. Including Rin, Len, and Luca. <sighs> It's really great seeing everybody getting the spotlight they deserve, just like Miku. And I think the best part about the show was, for me, after Miku sang Highlight and all the, all the Vocaloid crew came up with her and said, Thank you. I thought it was going to be all over. But when I thought it was, boom! The intro of Tell Your World was being played and Miku actually sang it as the final song. Like, oh my gosh. It was such a big surprise. I'm pretty sure for all Miku fans, including me, because it's a well-known KC song and it was a good way to end it off, especially with the, with two concert footages of, of confetti being burst out in the final chorus. Oh, I love that part in any Miku concert. It was a good way to end up the show. Everything about the show, I'm giving this 10 out of 10. No, 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 100 out of 10. It was way better than the last one in June and it really makes me want to watch it again. Like, uh, I don't even know how many times I would watch it. It was so enjoyable. And all I can say is, Krypton, Hatsune Miku, you, you've done it again. You all done it again. Thank you so much for this. And I'm sure everybody around the world enjoyed it as much as I did. Anyway, that's all for today. If you like this, make sure you like and subscribe and click on the bell icon to get notified when I release new videos. And also, if you've seen Miku X for Rewind Plus as well, leave your comments down below what your favorite part of the show was. Anyways guys, always remember, keep on smiling and keep on shining. I'll see you all again soon. And Hatsune Miku, Kagamine Rin, Kagamine Lin, Megarine Luka, Meiko, and Kaito. To all Vocaloid fans around the world, including me, we all love you. Anyways, see you guys soon. Bye bye!